Welcome, one and all, to the uh, Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm uh, telling any tales out of school here when I say that Donald Trump is in trouble. But this time, it's double trouble. Thanks to two phone calls, one with the president of Ukraine, in which he asked for dirt on Joe Biden, another call with the president of Turkey, in which he sold out our allies, the Kurds. I assume... I assume for dirt on Joe Biden. <laughs> In the end, Trump may def be defeated by his greatest weakness, his Achilles mouth. <laughs> it's all detailed in the epic poem, The Idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's a Homer joke. <laughs> it's, it's a Homer joke. <laughs> With Homer and them. Homer Simpson. It's the, it's the idiot and the oddity. But... <laughs> That's just the tip of the Dumberg, because Trump's calls with foreign leaders have long worried aides, leaving some genuinely horrified. So, these former aides were horrified, but they're just telling us now? <laughs> well, it's like the signs say, if you see something, say something two years after we could do anything about it. And it's not, it's not new. It's not... We're all doomed. This has been going on for a while. Uh, just a couple of weeks after taking office, Trump gave Vladimir Putin a call that former officials described as obsequious and fawning and where Trump was like, oh, my gosh, my people didn't tell me you wanted to talk to me. I mean, so few people want to. Sometimes I get so lonely, I, I call the recorded line for Cars for Kids just to, <laughs> just to hear a human's voice. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Be my friend today. Some of Trump's calls were just bizarre, like one call with China's President Xi, where Trump repeated numerous times how much he liked a kind of chocolate cake. <laughs> chocolate cake. Wait, where, where have I heard that before? We had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen, and. President Xi was enjoying it. Oh, I think I see what's happening here. Xi once told Trump that he liked chocolate cake, and now Trump won't stop bringing it up in an attempt to bond with him. <laughs> it's like telling your aunt that your favorite animal is frog when you're eight years old and getting frog presents from her for the rest of your life. <laughs> By the way, Aunt Gloria, thank you for the new apron. <laughs> Time's fun when you're having flies. I love explaining that. To people. Now, the most striking point about Trump's phone habits are how different they are from his predecessors. An official from the Obama year said, when I was at the White House, preparation for these calls was taken very seriously. But it appears to be freestyle and ad lib now. Okay, so Trump is making things up as he goes. He's, he's basically doing diplomacy like an improv team. Okay, everybody, welcome. All right, all right, let's bring the lights up. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm about to call a foreign leader. I need a suggestion of a country and something to tariff. Anybody? <laughs> uh, I heard Switzerland and cuckoo clocks. We take you now to a proctologist's office on the moon. <laughs> Trump might be in trouble uh, over more than just uh, the phone calls because he just lost a big court ruling here in New York City. On Monday, the president was ordered to turn over his tax returns to the Manhattan DA. And... <laughs> yes. There you go. There you go. You gotta give him up, Doc. waiting. Come on, Doc. That was building up. That was backing up on us. That was, that was a long time coming. I think the whole audience just had a simultaneous w 4 gasm. <laughs> now, uh, for now, Trump's lawyers are appealing, and that is the only time I will ever use the word Trump and appealing in the same sentence. <laughs> but the ruling is pretty extraordinary when you read it. Apparently, Trump's legal team argued that a sitting president can't be processed for any crime. The judge wasn't having it, saying it was repugnant to the nation's governmental structure and constitutional values, and that the president's claim of absolute immunity conceivably could enable the guilty to go free. To which the defense replied, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> now you're getting it. This guy is good. Now, we're also learning... <laughs> bing, 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 bong, bang, bing, bang, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, 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 bong. Uh, what's it? We're also learning about another of Trump's fixations, uh, lie detector tests. 
According to former White House officials, the president is so obsessed with leaks that he has frequently discussed whether to order polygraphs of White House staffers. Trump ordering polygraphs is like Keith Richards administering a drug test. <laughs> I can't get no urine sample. <laughs> Trump wanted to use the lie detector to ferret out White House leakers, but so far, aides have been able to persuade him not to launch such a drastic step, arguing it would be counterproductive, mainly because anytime a polygraph comes within 10 feet of Trump, it bursts into flames. <laughs>